Well, 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 guess who's back? Guess who's back, people? It's your boy TKK Game Fanatic. I'm Michael Jordan the Game. And then I know it's been a long time since I uploaded anything on this channel. I've been busy, man. I've been busy with work and everything. And I've been coming home tired. And I just didn't want to do any Let's Play. I just wanted to play some games with the friends, you know, Mind One Nigga and everybody. So I just didn't do any, you know, Let's Play recording. I know I was supposed to do Project Complete Grand Theft Auto. And we were supposed to be going in on that game. But I will start it up probably tomorrow, hopefully. She must be Christmas. All right, so what do we leave off, man? <laughs> I'm here for my friend, Keith. Ah, uh, sorry, it doesn't ring a bell. You bought him from Hoyt. Ah, him. <laughs> he said his name was... Oh, this guy's a dick. I remember this part. You're hysterical. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then. Let's get down to brass tags. You must be Jason Brody. Look! I just want Keith. Jason, Jason, Jason. God, we're not all savages here. We're just businessmen, responsible capitalists. I've got something that, that you want, right? That's product. You've got something that I want. And what the hell is that? <coughs> temper, temper, Jace. Be careful. If you do me in, you'll never get him back. True dick. This guy's the dick of all dicks. He's the you score that? Dick Tracy of Dickerman. Dickerman. Keith goes with you. Bring me what has been Pause. lost. I've, I've seen this knife before. Knife? What do you mean knife? That's just a fucking knife. It's art. More history in this than you and Keith before Archie squeezed together. This is a knife, looking ass. That's my fucking fee, right? It's from Crocodile it? Dundee. It's Trejander. He knew where it was. Vice, he got the wanker's boat. Research he was doing on some Chinese treasure and his crew. Do you know what else he got? The knife? No, not the knife. It's location. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want Keith back? Get on the goddamn boat. Find out where the artifact's buried before someone else nicks it. I want your bike. Fuck off. Oh, wow. But anyway, um, I was looking at the comments on the first time I did this because you remember I. This, these are, um, this is the video of the Let's Play because remember I didn't have my mic set so it didn't record any of my uh, commentary while I was playing it live. So I asked you guys if you wanted me to just go ahead and cut it up in little pieces or, you know, continue on just talking over it, just giving you like some kind of a, uh, some kind of a commentary over it. Um, and it was, I think I saw one person that said he wanted it just cut in pieces and then you know just continue on with it but the rest was like hey yeah if you want to see the whole thing just do a commentary over it so that's what I'm doing again um now I don't know what happened on this part I think if I remember correctly I had to go on a boat yeah yeah I said yeah I had to go on some kind of a boat so this dude just pretty much just to give you an idea what's gonna happen he was pretty much just giving me a whole bunch of fetch quests and I don't know what the reason for them were, but he's supposed to be looking for a knife or something. But it seems like he has some other kind of intent. I'm not sure. Um, he has one of my buddies hostage. I think he's his love slave. I'm not sure. Uh, it sounds kind of raunchy the way he talks about him. I really think he's his sex slave. This guy's pretty creepy and weird. That's what I'm going to tell you. Um, and you'll see that throughout the whole Let's Play. This right here, I should have skipped through this. This is just me thinking of what I should level up. Because I haven't leveled up anything in a long time. As you can see, I have five points. So I was sitting here like, what would I need? And it was funny because I was talking about, I was, um, in a second I'm going to look at like swimming, like swimming fast or whatever like that. And I was like, oh, I'm not going to need that anytime soon. I'm not even going to worry about that. Kind of found out I did need it. <laughs> because like I said, I'm going to be on the boat. So you're going to see how I have to get to the boat. Um, not even, actually, I didn't even have to swim to get to the boat. But you'll see what happens. You'll see what I don't want to spoil it for you before it happens. I want you to see it and be like, damn, take what the hell? So, yeah, because uh, some stuff went down. You're going to find out. <clears throat> I really should have skipped through this. I forgot about it, though. That's the only reason. And now I'm already committed, so I'm not going to commit. Um, I'm not going to go through it. So I think there's a few Let's Plays I'm almost done playing. I swear this, is the, this has been the longest I've ever had for any Let's Plays I've ever done. When I did, uh, when I did Fear 2... That one took maybe about two months or a month. I'm not sure. When I did Metro Last Light on my 
regular game channel. It took me about a month or so. When I did Metro, not Last Light, Metro 2033. Metro Last Light, I think it took me about a month. And the games I'm playing now, man, are taking forever. This game, GTA, and uh, especially GTA, um, and uh, Dead Space, they're taking forever. And, and Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein came out like five months or six months ago. <laughs> And I know the reason why. It's mainly because of my job, man. <clears throat> Did I just buy swimming? I don't remember. But it's mainly my job. It's been when I had all the less plays, I was working at Target. And I had a little bit... I had a set schedule. My schedule was pretty much um, midday. Is what they normally have me set for. This job that I have now, it's all over the place. One day I might be morning. One day I might be closing. Is I normally don't get middays. It's very rare that they give me a midday. It's normally either opening or closing. So, um, with that being said, I'm pretty tired when I come home, especially if it's I have to work an eight to five shift. I'm pretty much kind of tired, and what I do is I come home, eat, and then I might take a nap. And then by, by that time it's like eight nine o'clock. All my buddies are on 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 uh, mobile. And I don't really feel like doing a commentary because I want to play whatever they're playing on the stream and I want to get in the stream and have fun and joke around with people. So that's what normally happens. And then if I'm closing, when I close, it's like 11 o'clock. Now, this is when I would normally do like a dead space or something like that. But recently, I've just been tired and I haven't felt like doing that. As you can see on my commentary channel, I haven't even really done a commentary. I did like two videos recently and they were just, um, one was just to talk about the 60 frames a second. I only did like maybe like 40 seconds or 50 seconds of commentary then it was just pretty much you watching different games running at 60 frames per second for the YouTube uh, introduction of 60 FPS on the video playback and then the last one was um, just a live gameplay I've had on my hard drive for like months I mean like two or three months or so and I just decided to post it because I'm trying to you know clean up my hard drive a little bit so that lets you know how much time I have and how much I, you know, I felt like uploading stuff because I've just been tired. Like I've had easy commentaries I wanted to do, but I just felt like ah, I'm too tired to even attempt it. And then I have to get like gameplays because I haven't gotten any gameplays recorded because I don't want to record gameplay while I'm in mobile chat with them because then they'll be all in the background. So I just haven't felt like getting any gameplay because that's a whole other story and stuff like that. So I'm a, I'm a try. I'm a try. Tomorrow I'm supposed to close, um, but I might end up calling out because it's something I have to do. I have to take care of uh, my car's business, um, so I might have to call out, so that might give me some time to do stuff. If I don't do anything, it's a good chance that I actually said screw the car and I just went to work, but actually I won't be able to really go to work without the car thing being done because what it is is my tags are expired. So, you dig? It's funny I'm talking about cars and then I crash. Hilarious. Did I break the car completely? Oh, no, I didn't break it. Yeah. That's, a, that's how I drive in real life. That's my good driving skills, by the way. Now, talking about that whole YouTube 60 FPS deal. If you're watching this right now, you're probably noticing that it's not in 60 FPS. Because it makes huge files at 60 FPS. And I don't feel like, I don't really feel like going through it. Um, And it normally doubles the time it takes to render it. Now, JG just tweeted something about, and this is October, this is November 5th, by the way. But JG just tweeted something about uh, with GPU acceleration, it, it makes it seem like it did without making it 60 frames per second. So I might give that a shot. So if you do see it at 60 frames per second, that's because I love y'all. If I don't have it at 60 frames per second, that's because I love me and I ain't trying to go through all that trouble and time waiting for this thing to render. Because um, right now it's 7.53, this is around the time when the homies start getting on. I do kind of feel like streaming tonight, so I might actually stream. So I don't want to go through that whole rendering time because I can't play anything if uh, I'm rendering. So, <clears throat> as you see, the boat I need to go to is right out there. And, um, now remember I said something about I needed to upgrade my swimming. Who in the world? Who? Okay, so I need to upgrade my swimming. And I think I did. I'm not too sure if I went back and did it. I think I read something about the boat and I was like, oh, wait, I gotta, I gotta use the boat. I mean, um, I gotta go to a boat, so I might want to swim to it. And then I saw there were sharks. If you saw me looking at the map before, it was because I was like, oh, there's sharks in the water. So I'm, the whole time I'm scared. I'm like, yo, is a shark going to come out and tip my, my jet ski over? What's going to happen? But you're going to see why uh, I'm happy that I did upgrade my swimming. You'll see that in a few minutes. Hey. 
And that's where I screwed up right there. <laughs> Instantly screwed up. So as you can see, they're all alerted to me. Instantly screwed up. I didn't know that they were going to be alert, alerted like that. And let's just say it didn't go well. Took him out. I somehow missed this guy. And he took me out with one shot. Because I got hit by the shotgun the first time. And I was like, damn. Okay. Uh, not going to do that again. But the game made sure I wasn't going to be able to do that again. Because uh, watch what it does. I'm like, oh, yo. It's sharks in this water, bro. <laughs> so I'm scared. I'm like, hey, yo. I'm going to the water to see if there's any sharks coming up on me. And I'm looking around like, yo. Is there a shark about to get me? Is there a shark about to get me? I think I actually spotted a shark, too. And that's when I really kicked it in gear swimming. Let me see. I th right there on the left side, I was like, is that a shark? I think that's a shark. <laughs> so I was like, hold on, let me hurry up and get to this thing. So I'm watching it, making sure it doesn't get to me. And I'm like, hurry up and get me out. I'm like freaking out because he kind of swam away from the ladder when I was trying to get to it. So I'm all right. So I'm already seeming mad that I just died just now. So I'm like, okay, look, I'm going to destroy y'all now for that. So I'm looking at him. He looking over to the side for some reason. Yeah, my neighbor's loud, bro. Bunch of females from college that live up above me. I want to smash one of them though. I'm to see. <laughs> I have to see what they're about up there. Man. Cause I saw a few of them. It's alright. It's alright. Like it was a little chilly. This at Morgan State University. You know, it was a little slim for my like for my taste. But you know, you know, I don't, I don't mind I'm trying new things. <laughs> anyway, back to the game. So um. I'm trying to be a little stealthy because I don't want to get in that shootout. Cause you saw they had shotguns. But, like it always happens, me and first person shooters in stealth mode, it's never good. Get you next. And you know, they have the same. Oh, there it is, see? So now I'm, I'm freaking out. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna die again. I'm gonna die again. They all. Come on, yo, my neighbors are really loud. Took him out somehow. He died pretty much instantly. I must have shot him in the head. I'm not sure. Took him out. That was easy. Now I'm running low on ammo right now and I'm, I'm like, yo, I'm like, I gotta make a bigger ammo pack, apparently. I, I tend to run out of ammo real quick. I did make a bigger pack than what it was before because you ran out of ammo really fast. Right? You see, I only got eight rounds left. I'm like, wow, son, like, how am I supposed to win with this? And the only thing I think I have left um, in my inventory is a shotgun or something. I'm not sure if it's something, a pistol or something. Oh, the flamethrower, that was even worse. Yeah, so I was like, yo, this ain't gonna go good. This is not gonna go good. Check the area. What the? So I see he has an AK, but it won't let me pick up the ammo. I hurry up and get his. Now I'm doing a sweep around to try to get ammo. Now who is this dude, this joker right here? Like I didn't kill him so the game put him there. And notice I didn't get ammo when I ran over his gun. Well I didn't notice I got ammo. And this guy have a, he has a heavy suit on, so I was just wasting ammo on this dude the whole time. I'm like, yo, this dude ain't died yet. So I'm like, okay, bet. I'm throw a grenade at you, because you got a suit on. Or actually, I threw a, um, I want to see him get lit on fire, so I kind of threw a Molotov at him. And I'm trying to remember what the button was. <laughs> I'm looking like, yo, what is the button for grenades? And it's just the, uh, the mouse wheel. You just press that button, and that throws grenades. There it is, middle mouse button. So I'm like, oh. Now just toss it over there. All right, so he couldn't eat that. I was like, yeah, got him. This one last fool right here. Should have used the flame going on hold it right here. Oh, I did. Nice. No, I didn't. I'm probably just gonna throw a molly on him too, then. Oh, I'm switching to the shotgun that's on the ground. I think I go back and pick up my shotgun. I'm sure I did, because there was no way I was going to run around with just a shotgun. I like the flamethrower. It works. It, it lights stuff on fire. I like lighting things on fire. That's like the best thing in the world. And I don't know why they took that out of Call of Duty, because when they had the flamethrower on Black Ops, to, uh, Black Ops in the uh, World at War, I didn't have World at War, but I had Black Ops. I love that flamethrower. Okay, I switched it out for the AK, because I was like, I'll get more AK later. <laughs> Duke doing. <laughs> All 
All right, so I was gonna check some loot, but kind of found out my wallet wasn't big enough, so I couldn't hold that loot or money or whatever it was. I uh, recently actually just upgraded my wallet so I can hold about $4,000 now. I only got $2,000 at the moment, but now I can hold $4,000, and I'm probably gonna upgrade it again. You guys won't see this because I didn't record it. I just uh, did it while I was um, doing getting some video footage for the 60 frames a second video. I, I think I was running around just trying to find ammo for my AK again. Alright. Like I said, I like my AK. <laughs> now this is where I get super stealthy. See, when any game gives me enemies that's not facing me and they're walking around, I'm just like, okay, now it's time to go stealth mode. And I forgot I could drag them off, so that was pretty cool. I love this game. Like, I really love Far Cry 3. Like, the only problem I have with it is Ubisoft does not optimize it well for the PC. Like, this game runs good, but it will overheat my, my uh, power supply. Like, like I don't, I don't understand it. Um... It's not, well actually it's not greatly optimized. I forgot, when I had 1780 it would struggle to get up to 60 frames per second. And like I said, this game isn't too graphically demanding um, in the first place, so like I was wondering why I was doing that, but um, it does overheat my CPU. Ubisoft just does not like to optimize their games for the PC. They're too lazy, they only focus on the consoles. Um, which sucks, it's not the console's fault, per se. Um, it's more of the developer being lazy. <clears throat> but it does suck that they only focus more on the console, so it's kind of the console's fault, but it's not. If you get what I'm saying. If you get my drift. Well, that was cute. I think my uh, graphics cards are dying or something. Uh, they, 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 oh, wait a minute. The game was going to. The computer was going to rest mode. <laughs> Took that. Got him. I like that. I like that. Um. You could do link attacks, kind of like um on Shadow of Mordor. You can do that. There's a new gain ability I have on there where I could. Is that an item that I didn't see? Of course, I'm disarming that. But there was an item on the left, right there. I didn't see that item. Oh my god! I'm just seeing it now. That's lame. I'm a little mad about that. I didn't notice that item there until now. I don't know what it was. It could have been some money. Alright. I was going to drag him off. Hide them somewhere. I wish this game was like Metal Gear Solid. Like they had little lockers and stuff and you could hide them into the lockers. That would be cool. That would be cool. I used to love doing it on Metal Gear Solid too. And then I would... If I got bored and I wanted them to know that I did that, I would like do that and then kind of bang up the locker so they check it and see that the body falls out. <laughs> so love that. What was the health pack? I don't think I could pick it up because I tried. Now this was BS right here. I'm like, yo, how am I supposed to do this one? Like they're all walking near each other. And you see that guy right there with the skull over his head, he's the heavy suit guy. But you, you're gonna see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make short work of him. Oh shoot, both of them, oh damn, both of them heavy suit dudes, okay. I made short work of them though, don't worry about it, I got this man. I was thinking the whole time in this corner, I was like, yo, what am I gonna do? Hmm. And I was talking to y'all. You know, even though, you know, you wouldn't know that because I it didn't record that, but I was talking to y'all like, man, what should I do? It's two of them. It's not right. So I'm just coming up with plans. I'm like, yo, all right, I think I got an idea what I need to do, but <clears throat> still not sure. All right, come on, Tick. Hurry up and do something, bro. Take it too damn long. It ain't, it ain't that serious. It ain't rocket science. All right, so as you see, they're sticking that suit. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to throw a rock. I just remember the rock thing. So I was like, let me throw a rock. I got him away, right? 
But then I noticed it was a third dude there. And I'm like, are you kidding, son? So I'm going to toss another rock right to try to lure him a little further. It was nothing. Then it, I, it hit off the beam. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, that, that just messed me up right there. So I'm like, okay, that's good. The only one is really coming. So I was like, I'm going to try to lure him a little hey, closer. Who's there? Oh, well, I was thinking of actually knowing him to this door. I think I do. Hold on. Let's see what happens. Find whatever that was. Yeah, so I tried to lure him to the door, but he walked up. I'm like, huh? Get a grip. I was like, they must can't hear, but I was like, this is my chance, though, because the other one's like way ahead of him. So I was like, oh, let me get over here and try to take homie out. <laughs> then I, <laughs> then this fool looks at me. I'm like, there you go. So I got him. And then him, I just, I think I threw a Molotov. I was like, you know what? Take this Molotov. Oh no, I just shot him. Never mind. So they weren't heavy suit guys. I guess they were just showing that they were uh <clears throat> they were highlighted or spotted. Like I said, man, I don't remember I you know, this was over almost like a month ago, so I forgot some stuff. And then this guy. I couldn't even do an assassination on him, so watch this. This guy that was a heavy suit guy, this is how I made sure work at him, watch this. I think I threw a Molly, yep. <laughs> I was like, the fire will take care of him. I really use grenades anyway, so this is like the first time I'm actually using them. Alright, typing on his old ass computer. gateway computer real quick. Shit got Windows 95. Hey, but it's got a fire ass process in RAM. You see how he opened all them files up before. that quick? Maybe it'll lead to the knife. I just got the golden child amulet. And then we're looking for the golden child sword. Oh, mom, no. Whoa. And this is where it gets real. So we've blown the hall. Pause. So now I gotta swim out of here, try not to stop breathing, and well, actually try not to start breathing <laughs> so I don't drown. And then I'm scared. I'm like, yo, is this where they're gonna have the sharks attack me? So I'm freaking out about that too. And I'm like, yo, is this timed? Like, if I don't get out quick enough, I'm gonna die. What's gonna happen? And watch this drink. And look, I don't like nothing in video games about water. Now watch this. I was like, hey, yo, this dude tripping. It ain't even that serious, homeboy. We could have both gotten out of here. Mashing the buttons, kicking him in his jaw, knocked him out, and now he's dead. We could have both gotten out of here, but now nah, he want to sit here and, and go hard for the, the chief or whatever. What was that about? Could I pick that up? I think I'm starting to lose. Uh, oh, those were oxygen tanks. I'm so stupid. I didn't need them though, cause I'm a beast. But still, though, those were oxygen tanks. I was so freaking out that I didn't even want to, you know, check. Now I was freaking out about sharks, but luck. And I saw those, and I was like, oh, <laughs> it's not good. But I didn't have to worry about it though. Mr. Creepy, there he is. He probably tried to rape me. Jace. Rise and shine. Oi, Jace. You know the woods are lovely, dark and deep, mate. Hey, get the fuck up! Come on! Here you go. You found my prize yet? It wasn't on the boat. Oh, Jason. Keith is going to be very disappointed. He looked uncomfortable last I saw him. Why are you telling me this? Entertainment, my dear. Entertainment. 
<laughs> Did you happen to find a compass? Excellent. Very good. Our research says, follow the compass. Thanks for your help. Anytime. Now, you can handle being on your own, sir. <clears throat> Keith needs me. All right? Toodles. See, that just sounds creepy and raunchy and twisted, bro. I swear he is over there raping Keith. I'm not joking. But anyway, we did that mission. And we're going to break off to the next part. Um, I don't know what I was doing here. I forgot. Oh, I was seeing what the next mission was. And everything. And I didn't even mean to, mean to do this part either. Because I was going to stop at 30 minutes. But... Somehow got put in another quest without not even without even knowing it. So I was like, all right, well I'll just do another part because, like I said, normally I can only record about 30 minutes of this game before it breaks my CPU. I mean, uh, overheats my uh my uh, what's called? And I'm running to these assholes. Got him. I need to make my healing better because that only gives me three balls. I have four bars now. I'm a big boy. I might try that GPU acceleration. I'm not sure. If you don't see the 60 frames a second, that means it ain't go as fast as I wanted it to. And it makes a bigger file too. And I know this is going to be about maybe about three, four gigabytes of a file. And it might make it like a six gig, six gigs, and like for each gigabyte, that's how many hours it normally takes to upload. So if it's about a six gigabyte, that's six hours. Yeah, and I don't think I want to try to upload something in six hours. That's a bit much. It's a bit much. So I'll see. Turn the music off. And we're almost there. Where this creepy guy wants us to meet him again. And that'll be the next part. And I think that's the last part. And then after that, we can get back to the regular commentary. I almost killed myself. Forgot all about that. My great, uh, my great driving skills. I am a ridiculously good driver. I'm a great driver, um, but yeah, I will be, the, le the next part will be the last part of the, the uh, missions that I did not record my voice on. If you knew where I was supposed to go, why didn't Jason, you just tell Jason, me? Jason, Jason, don't get your knickers in a twist. I'm not playing the bloody game you are. I'm just a spectator here. But I expect a good show, eh? Get out of the way. Well, no, not before we give you a history lesson. Hmm? You ready for this? Listen to this now. Imagine... Consider, if you will, this monumental testament to irony. The bloody chaps. Right? They form a special unit of, uh, you know, to try and find, like, lost treasure and riches to feed their empire. But the wankers don't realize that this is building the bloody thing right over the fucking stuff they're looking for. Well, come on, ask me. What are they looking for? Fuck. No. What are they looking for? I should cane you for that. I really should. But you know what? I won't. I'll cane Keith instead. Thereafter, the Chow fucking Yang. This flagship that used to belong to uh, this famous Chinese general called uh, Zing He. The bloody thing. He just fucking disappeared. With tons of riches on it, including, yeah, my fucking knife. That's it. Look after yourself, eh? History lesson's over. Is Chow Yang the guy on Far Cry 4? I'm not sure. Well, leave comments and I'll see you on the next part. Fucker. You have a good night, people. We out here.